The recall election of Governor Newsom now just 11 days away, and two of the candidates who want to take his job campaigned here in San Diego today. Frontrunner Larry Elder and former San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner were here with a message for San Diegans. And Fox 5's Jason Sloss is live with how they're vying for your vote. Jason, good afternoon. Hey there, good afternoon. We're outside Rudford's restaurant in North Park where Larry Elder made a campaign stop this afternoon. He appears to be the biggest threat to Newsom in this recall effort today going after him for high housing costs, people leaving the state, a decline in education, a spike in crime, but uh, he emphasized the damage done to small businesses during the pandemic. A third of all small businesses are now closed forever because of what Gavin Newsom did. All the hopes, all the dreams of these restaurant owners closed forever because Gavin Newsom ignored the science and shut down this economy while keeping big box stores open, shutting down small stores, leaving marijuana dispensaries open, liquor stores open, shutting down churches. A absolutely outrageous, against science, on again, off again, on again, off again. Nobody could keep up with what he was doing. Larry Elder pulling no punches, focusing on who he calls the victims of Governor Gavin Newsom, the small businesses hit hard by the pandemic shutdowns. Elder, a conservative talk show host, is considered the Republican front runner in the recall election to replace Governor Newsom. The election now less than two weeks away. Elder says Newsom's lockdown mandates led to unnecessary pain for people all over the state. Elders not the only candidate campaigning in San Diego today. Former Mayor Kevin Faulkner was in the East Village focusing on what he says is Newsom's failure to deal with the homelessness crisis around the state. We know that if you allow people to live in a tent encampment, you're condemning them to die there. We know the problems that are associated on substance abuse and mental health and to be able to provide that help and support is so critically important and we have to do it with a sense of urgency and again on a statewide level and a governor that will lead by example. The last day to vote is September 14th. Elder says he's confident. Again, he's got that big lead among Republicans, but some polls indicate a higher percentage of voters who plan to vote no in the recall, which would let the governor keep his job. Live in North Park, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. All right, Jason, thank you. And we also have a complete guide to the recall election. It includes everything you need to know from voting to what's on the ballot. It even has information on all of the candidates. For more, just head to our website, fox5sandiego.com, and look for the recall election button. It's going to be on the right side of your screen.